Hey everyone, it's Ryan. I'm back and better than ever. You might recognize me from my previous BuzzFeed video. This guy eats fruit for the first time. You all, the internet, had a lot of thoughts about that. We definitely did, Ryan. We definitely did have a lot of thoughts about you eating fruit for the first time. Our first thought was that this is complete bullshit. Our second thought was actually getting pretty, pretty angry at you, I'm not gonna lie. What's up boys, welcome back to the Ablaze channel. Now, if you don't know here who Ryan is, well, he's pretty much just explained, but we made a video on Ryan on our channel a few days ago where this man claimed that he's never eaten a single piece of fruit before. <laughs> Bullshit. But anyway, this man also claims that he's never eaten a single vegetable in his life. Look, what is he what is he generally eating at this point? Ryan here literally has the diet of a four-year-old. And yes, I know the title of this video. Man tries vegan food for the first time. Well, it pretty much is. Because he's tried fruit in the last video, and in today's video, he's gonna be trying vegetables. God, can't wait for another overreaction from Ryan. Please, let's see. <laughs> I feel stupid if I'm wrong about this. Is this a green bean? It's a green bean. Yeah. I'm nervous because it's green. People are gonna get mad at me for cutting this in half, but I don't care. There's like shit inside of it. I'm Pickle Rick! I don't know if I like it or not. It has like a little spiciness to it. Is that normal? <laughs> oh, please don't. Don't say it's spicy. A green bean is not spicy. I swear white LA people just find everything spicy. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I used to really like Fiji water, but I just find it too spicy now. Dude, please shut up. Also, why again with the sinister music? Is this... Oh no, possibly be. It's a green bean. Oh, I thought these were legends. <laughs> oh no, it's killing me. Ryan, please, it's literally a green bean. Shut up, eat it, you're gonna be okay. If anything, you're gonna be better now from eating fruit and veg. No, it's just, I, I didn't connect with that green bean in a way that I wanted to. So scale of one to ten. No, next vegetable. Ryan, Ryan, uh, I don't know how good your maths was growing up, but uh, nobody, literally nobody, not a single person. What, one out of 10, please rate it. Ryan, no. Hmm. I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure no is not a number. Also, I like the way that he says he didn't connect with the green bean. <laughs> That's so dumb. Yeah, like I just, I didn't connect with it, you know? Like I was just sort of vibing and I just felt like I really didn't connect with the green bean. I'm gonna have to give it a no out of 10. <laughs> I swear to God, if they make a third one, Ryan tries meat and just... What is... What does he eat? What does this man eat? Ryan tries water for the first time. This is celery. That is celery. <laughs> I'm familiar with her. So I've been given some lifelines here. And one of the lifelines is that I can dip it in dressing. Wait, wait, wait. Ho hold up. No. Not like this challenge was already, like, not easy enough, okay? He- all he's doing is eating vegetables. This isn't like a Bush Tucker trial challenge where he's eating, like, weird insects or animals, like cow testicles or anything. This isn't even James Gordon's Spill Your Guts, which just seems pretty easy. This is literally Ryan eating some vegetables. Why did you go and give him some lifelines? That just makes me more angry. Also, quickly before we carry on with Ryan overreacting over here, I really want to let you guys know to come over if you would like to, to my Discord, because that is where I get the majority of the videos. And I really appreciate a lot of you have been sending me a bunch. I'm pretty much on Discord every other day at the moment, talking to a few of you. So mate, uh, make sure to come over. It's, it's going to be a good time. Please bring me the ranch now. <laughs> Why does everything smell spicy to me? I don't like that. God, it's too spicy. Ah, uh, I need milk. I need milk. I've literally seen people on hot ones complain less than this. Celery is pretty much water, Ryan. If anything was going to be more spicy here, I mean, I, I guess I would say the ranch, but even ranch isn't spicy. Grow up, Ryan. Grow up. It doesn't taste like anything. Like, it doesn't have any substance. It's like water with, like, crunchification in it. Like, I don't care about it. It's not good. Is that a cauliflower? It is. I don't like that. Oh yes, the dead and deceived broccoli. I will be honest, Ryan, this isn't my favorite either, but please do not overreact. I, I don't even know why, of course he's gonna overreact. I don't even know why I bother sometimes. Why is, uh, what's going what on? What is this? Oh, people like have a ranch moment with this? 
Can I drench it? I don't like that. When are you gonna bring me something I like? Like, this is f***ed up. Okay, to be honest, like I said, cauliflower... Cauliflower is not the best. I myself would probably rate it no out of 10, but that was a complete overreaction. It's not like that. This is literally like trying to get a four-year-old to eat his vegetables for the first time. Ryan, you can't make any more BuzzFeed videos until you eat your vegetables. I just had a little juice come out. Did Ryan just die? I feel like <laughs> that was his lifeline. That was his heartbeat. He just completely flatlined and died from eating a beet. I thought these were Dr. Dre beets. What the hell? I just got bamboozled. Again, beets aren't the best, but that is a complete overreaction. It's not like I would eat a beet by mistake or something and then like want to throw up and then just flatline. I feel like... Ryan, you need to calm down a bit, mate. I get it. You're making a video for BuzzFeed here. You want it to be entertaining, and it would be a bit boring if you just ate it and was like, yeah, that doesn't taste good. No, yeah, it tastes all right. Please, man. Uh, for some reason, I actually would prefer that than watching this. <sighs> it's not good. I don't like anything so far. But tomatoes taste like ketchup, so... Oh, they don't? They don't taste like ketchup at all. That's not a thing. Seeds. It's like, okay. Isn't tomato a fruit? I've never even had this. Oh, sh**. Tomato with Italian dressing right here. Mm. Tomato is definitely the top vegetable right now. Yay! Everybody, everybody clap for Ryan. He's, he's found something he likes that is actually a vegetable. Shocking, I know. I, I'm, I just, I'm watching this video and in the back of my head, I just can't help but think, what does Ryan actually eat though? If he doesn't eat any fruit or veg, how is he still alive? And how is he not bigger? Like, uh, he's not exactly like a huge person or something, but how is he still living? It's generally like watching a spoiled kid being made to eat his vegetables. Well, anyway, we could painfully go through every single vegetable here that Ryan eats. But to be quite honest with you, I've watched it and it is literally like the same reaction 10 different times. So I'll spare you the pain once again. Thanks, Blaze. Once again, boys and girls, you're more than welcome. Let's see what Ryan's final thoughts were from eating a little bit of greens. I feel like I just ran a goddamn marathon right now. Of course. Of course. He feels like he's run a goddamn marathon. Because when I eat a little bit of spinach, I think to myself, Whoa, bloody hell. What a workout that was. I am sweating, Ryan. Sitting down eating some vegetables and running about 24 miles. I hate to break it to you, kiddo. They're really not the same thing. Did the best I could. It took a lot. If you know me from the last video, you know that this was a big step for me. So going forward, I want to try, um, I think, like a salad, like with cucumbers, maybe some spinach leaves. I encourage everyone to step out of their comfort zone and try something you've never tried before. And I'm basically vegan now. Imagine that. Imagine Ryan telling you, to go out of your comfort zone. I mean, my comfort zone seems to be a little bit different to Ryan's. I would say more like bungee jumping or skydiving would be coming out of my comfort zone. Ryan's comfort zone is adding pickles in his Big Mac burger. Ryan, we are not the same person. <laughs> anyway, boys and girls, I'm sure you're all very frustrated right now, but uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please consider giving it a like. And also, boys, if you enjoy this type of content, come over to my channel and make sure to subscribe. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you would like to come over and check out my Discord, I'm going to be on there most days where I talk to a bunch of you. It's going to be a good time, man. And also, you can send me a bunch of videos that you would like to see me react to here on this channel, which I actually, again, really do appreciate. Anyway, boys and girls, I'll see you all in the next video.